In this CPA build tutorial, I will show you step by step how to set up and implement your own content locker and landing page. What's up CPA marketers, Amar here, and one of the ways that you can monetize your premium content is by using CPA content lockers. It is similar to the list building process when you ask someone or a visitor to enter his email address and then grant him access to some valuable content. But in this case, we will be asking the visitor to complete one CPA offer before accessing the premium content that we promise him on the landing page here. And by completing the CPA offer, the visitor will automatically unlock this uh, locker and access this page here where he will be able to get his premium content or premium information that we just promised him. So I prepared this new account on CPA build and also this landing page and thank you page just for this example. So I'm not going to show you today how to make a landing page like this, but I will be doing it in the future. But I'm sure that you can find a lot of landing pages here um, on the internet, free to access, and you can check in the description below. You will see some PLR links where you can get information like this. So before I dive into the details, uh, guys, please consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video and or dropping a comment or question. It will be a very appreciated support. And if you don't have already a CPA build account, there is a link in the description below. You can register and get approved. So as you can see here on this picture, this is the landing page that we need to promote. And when a visitor comes to the landing page, he will see what we are offering for free. And we just explain here that he needs to complete an offer, a CPA offer before getting what we are promising here on the thank you page. This is the CPA build content locker that we will be uh, building together. And this is the thank you page where he will access the information after unlocking this content locker. And by the way, this here can be anything like it can be a blog post, a video, a promo code, a download or a discount or anything that people are interested in. The only thing that matters in this case is that it is legit and valuable. Because if a visitor accepts to complete a CPA offer, he will be expecting something that is valuable and it is worth it. So now in order to set up the content locker and implement it in our landing page, we need to do two things in this menu here, content lockers. The first thing is build modify locker. And once we're done, we will go here to code for website, get some codes and put them into the landing page. So the first thing that you will see when you click on build modify a content locker is the base template. You can choose a template. There are some uh, pre-made templates here and you can start from scratch by choosing blank. So if you're a gamer, you will be choosing this. If it will be a human verification, like in this case, I will choose this one here. And there are other options like for mobile install apps instead of taking a survey. So I'm going to choose human verification. Now, if you already created one, you can find it here in the modification. But if this is the first time you're going to create one, you type the name for your content locker here. Let me I just created actually one that is called free giveaway. And if, if I select it here, it will load the options. But don't be intimidated by all this. This is very uh, easy to install, actually. So you can change the color, for example, of the um, of the content locker. You can change the title color, the footer color, etc. But what is very important here to make it uh, like 
personalized to what you are offering on your landing page is to change some of these information here. And by the way, let me show you exactly where these information are shown. So this is the landing page. And if I scroll down and click on the button, the content locker will show up. And those information we saw before are here. Human verification required, surveys, human verification, verification concluded automatically open, uh, survey completion surveys for your country typically takes two to three minutes and we have the time so this is the content locker what I want to do is make it match what we are offering on this landing page here because there's nothing here speaking about what we are offering here and this is why we need to change some information here Let's take an example. If we change this one here and see what happens later. So I just changed this line here and I put to access your SEO package download, a human verification is required. So let me just do save settings, or save and preview. And then I will go ahead to my page and then refresh it and click again on the button. And you can see here at the top, it says to access your SEO package download, human verification is required. Now I'm going to change this one here that says surveys. I will turn it to complete just one offer to unlock. So I go back here and instead of surveys, I will put complete just one offer to unlock. And then I go down and I put save. And then now I go to my landing page, refresh the page to see the changes, click again on the button. And you can see here that I have complete just one offer to unlock. And I will leave the last one here as it is. I will not change it. So if my visitor comes to this page and clicks the button, this is what will appear. He will understand that he needs to complete one offer in order to unlock and uh, get to the download page. And he will be automatically redirected to the download page once he completes one of these offers here. One thing that is very important for the content locker is the uh, the link or the URL of the delivery. So you need to tell the content locker where to take the visitor after completing the offer. So I put this example here that says yourwebsite.com slash download, but in reality, I will be putting the real download link here for that ebook and action plan to be downloaded. So this is very important. You need to check or double check that the URL that you put here is correct. So I will not worry about the entrance animation and duration. Uh, this is very important. Uh, the offers required. He needs only to unlock one. If you need him to do two, which is not uh, very good, uh, you can just change the value here. But one is good. And uh, so we spoke about the delivery URL. I will leave everything else as it is. I don't want to disable the right click. I don't want to put a captcha, etc. I will just go ahead and save or save and preview to see exactly what I am getting on my page. So right now, the content locker is created and saved. We can now go to step two, which is uh, adding the codes to our landing page. So as you can see on this graphic, there are two places where we need to inject the codes. The first one is on the head tag of the HTML page. I will show you exactly how to do that. And the first piece of code, we need to put it on the button that is used as a call to action. And to do this, we need to use an HTML editor like the one I'm using right now here. It's called NVU. So NVU, sorry for the sound. 
and um, this is uh, the what you see is what you get uh, editor so you can see the your work like it is and you can also click on this tab here at the bottom the one that says source to see the source code of that page and this is very useful actually in this case so let's go back to normal and then there is another editor which is free as well that you can use it's called uh, note pad plus plus but this one will give you only the source code view to change so notepad plus plus you can type this on google find it and download it or nvu html editor you can type this on google and download it for free install it and open your landing page once you open your landing page you can go to this tab here that says source in order to see the source code where you will be adding the codes let me just do something quick here because i already added the codes i'm going to remove them i'm going to remove this one here this piece here this is what i brought from uh, cpa build i will remove it and make some space here and then I will go down to the button. I will show you exactly how I do this in a second. And then I will remove something. So this is exactly the image that says download. This is it. Uh, this is the tag IMG and the, um, the, um, the path where the image is is inside the images folder. And the name of the image is download-button. PNG. It's very easy to find it actually. So here's what we see and what we saw before was the source code. So here is what I was looking for which is the image button. Uh, it says download-button.png and it's located in the images folder. I will come back here in a second and put a code here to make this image call the content locker all right so let's recap a little bit we came here to content lockers build modify locker we entered this information we also entered this information here and then we clicked on save and preview to see exactly what it looks like and then we know now that our content locker that is called free giveaway is already created now i want to take the pieces of code and put them on the landing page and for that i will go to the right hand side and go to code for website once there it will ask you to choose which content locker you want to work with and as you can see here it says free giveaway and it says also here private which means that I am the only one that can use this content locker but if you can see this one here this one here this one here are public so so these guys, they, they created uh, content lockers and uh, landing pages, and they were approved by CPA Build. But this one here is just for me. So once I choose it, what will happen, it will ask me also for a mobile version, but I don't, I don't care about this one. I will just click on Generate Code. And now here are the codes. So I have code number one which needs to go to the head tag of my html file of the landing page so i need to copy this code here right click copy and then when i go to the html source code i need to put it inside the head tag and to be like um to be uh, precise i will just put it just before the closing head as you can see here this is the closing head slash head and this is the opening head so any html file has the head section and the body section the head section will not visit will not be visible to the visitors only the body section will be visitor so i will paste that code here this is what they told me so i just paste it here and save the file and then i will go back to cpa build and grab the second piece of code now we have the choice here there are multiple options but the one i want is open when a button is pressed 
This is exactly what I want. I want when people press on that blue button, something happens. The content locker opens. Now, you can, if I take it as it is, it says it opens with button and it closes with slash button. I don't want to use um, his code because it will show me only this word here, click me. There will be no image. So, but if I want to use my image, I will just copy the function that calls the content locker, which starts with unclick equal and this CPA build lock. So I will copy it as it is here, copy. And then when I go to the source code of my landing page, I will go down and search for my image so my image is right here as you can see here image let me put some spaces here i will put this image here inside the a tag which stands for anchor uh, usually we find uh, beside the a we find the a href for a hyperlink to link to another page but i do not need it right now i will just paste what i got from cpa build so this is the anchor and it opens this javascript function here i took it from cpa build and i paste it right here one last thing uh i don't have to forget to close the a tag so i will put this and then slash a so i opened an a tag and i close it around the image and then i ask the function to execute this one here which will open the cpa build locker now let's save the changes and see what this will give us so if i save and then i go ahead and refresh my landing page so click and here is the content locker if someone clicks on any offer here, completes the offer, it will be redirected automatically to the download page because that information, I mean, the link for the download page is inside the content locker. So this is how it works. Every time you refresh your page, it means like a new visitor is on the page and then you click on the download button. This content locker will open. I just need, I just wanted to say that the files, I mean, the landing page, the thank you page and the images and everything uh, need to be uploaded to your website or to your server in order for it to work. So guys, this was it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me on the comment section. And also please subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it on your blog, and uh, I will see you on the next video.